Hey, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at getting Node.js on our Ubuntu 20.04 laptop. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to open up my terminal. And let me just expand this and bump up the size a little bit. And I'll show you that I don't have Node.js currently installed. So if I type Node-V to get the Node version, you'll see that Node is not found. So over here in Firefox, I have an article from DigitalOcean and they show how to install Node.js on an Ubuntu 20.04 laptop. And there's a couple of different installation methods that they outline here. I'm really interested in this third option using the Node version manager, so that's NVM. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to install different versions of Node. So if you read the instructions here, you'll notice that it references the GitHub page for the Node.js project. And they do that in order to get the most recent version of Node. So right here, they're referencing this version here specifically, but there might be a newer version available on GitHub. So just come over here and scroll down on this page and take a look for that curl command so you can get the most recent version. So let's copy this right here and notice that it has bash appended to the end. So get that whole command, do a control C to copy it. And then if you go back to your terminal and you do a control shift V, you can paste that command in there and run that. So I actually don't have curl installed on my computer yet, so I can install that with sudo apt install curl. So you can copy this last command here if you want. Do a control shift C and then paste that in there. Then just enter the password for your computer. Now that curl is installed, just press the up arrow two times so you can get back to your original curl command and run that one more time. So you can see that it downloaded it to my home directory here, my home Jimmy Fisk, and they put a .nvm folder in there. And then they added some information to our bash rc file here, so .bash rc in our home directory. So now if I type the command nvm, you'll see that it's not found. So we first have to actually source our bash rc file. So if we write source and do a tilde and then forward slash .bash rc, and we try to run that one more time, you can now see that NVM is being recognized. So make sure you source your bash RC in order to get those changes that the installation process made to that file applied to your system. And then if we wanna list all the different versions that are available to us, we can do an NVM list hyphen remote. And you can see it lists a ton of different versions out for us. I'm going to grab the newest version of node 13. So that's node 13.14.0. I'm going to copy that and I'll do an MVM install of that version here. Press enter. You can see that it's downloading that version of Node right here. And you can see it created an alias to our default here. So if I were to type node hyphen version, that command that we ran in the very beginning of the tutorial, you can see now that our Node version is 13.14.0. Now you could repeat the same method of finding a remote version and installing it and switching between different versions. So you could have multiple versions of Node running simultaneously on your computer, and you could switch between them for different projects. So for instance, if we want the most recent version of Node, even if it's unstable here, I could grab this 14.3.0 version, and I could do an MVM install v14.3.0. And now if I check my node version again, so node hyphen V, you can see that we're now running 14.3.0. So I can list out the different versions that we have on our system with MVM list. And you can see here that we're using version 14. This arrow indicates that we're using this. We could also switch back to version 13, which is alias to our default. So we could do MVM use default. And you can see that we're now using node 13 again. So if I were to do node v, you can see that we're on 13. Again, if I want to list these again, I could switch back to 14 by doing nvm use v14.3.0. And again, node is now set to 14.3.0. So that's how you could switch between different versions on the same desktop. Hopefully that was helpful for you. If you're interested in more JavaScript content, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when more videos like this come out in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.